hi everyone so anyway i'm here with one of my book of the month clubs i'm not really sure what month i ordered this in but i've got a couple more book of the month clubs to go to catch up and of course i'm going to catch up reading too but anyway this one is everything we didn't say so i hope that you stick around and join me and we'll talk a little bit about the book Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in and visit, spend a little bit of your day with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And today you're probably wondering what the heck is Nancy doing now? She's got all this crap behind her usually, and now she's just got this thing behind her. Well, you can't really tell what it says because, I, yeah, I did not measure. But it's a little backdrop. And for Valentine's Day. And it says, love. So anyway, we've got this to do my 12 days of wine countdown, which I'm going to start tomorrow night. So I wanted to get this hung and get it started tonight. So it'll be my wine and kisses Valentine wishes. So 12 different bottles of wine. So one every night for Valentine's Day. This is how the bottles look. They look so stinking cute. Smooch California Red Blend. So it'll be a couple of different types of wine to try. So I'm really excited about doing that. And um, so I thought today I just, um, after work, I worked until 9 o'clock. I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. I worked till 10 o'clock yesterday too. Yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling kind of tired. It was trash day. I had to get my trash outside. And so then I came in and it was, it's, what is it? It's minus six degrees right now. So with the wind chill, I don't even want to ask my friend Alexa what the wind chill is. So I came in and took a nice hot shower and then put my, some new pajamas on. And I thought, well, you know, I've already got this hung. Let's I do a video, see what it looks like. Catch up on one of my book of the month clubs because I had four boxes. I did one last week, so I got three to go, and my February already shipped. So I figure I will get that done out of the way. And then for the uh, the 12 days of drinking the wine, I may end up kind of splitting in that that up here and there, depending on how much energy I have. But um, yes, yeah, so I'll be doing that. And then just uh, like I've got some glossy box, I got Look Fantastic, and just some other things, some Ipsy things. So I'll just kind of do those kind of randomly throughout. And then of course the other book of the month clubs that I have. So without further ado, let's get into this one. So again, I don't know what month it is, but remember last week I showed you the book that I was currently reading that I had started in August when I started to kind of get tired and run down and I just did stopped reading and I was about halfway done. I've got like 40 pages to go and this is 56 days so this was one of my book of the month clubs i forgot what month i got it in but it's about um uh, the pandemic the COVID 19 and when it started in ireland and how this couple had just uh randomly met and lockdown happened and they decided to kind of move into each other together because that way that's the only way they could see each other and they thought that would just be perfect so it was 56 days ago sierra and oliver meet in a supermarket queue in Dublin and start dating the same week COVID-19 reaches the Irish shores. 35 days ago, when lockdown threatens to keep them apart, Oliver suggests they move in together. Sierra sees a unique opportunity for a relationship to flourish without the scrutiny of family and friends. Oliver sees a chance to hide who and what he really is. Today, detectives arrive at Oliver's apartment to discover a decomposing body inside. Can they determine what really happened or has lockdown created an opportunity for someone to commit the perfect crime? So I just thought this was just so relevant with the COVID-19 and now the COVID Delta and now I, I don't even know what it's called right now, the Omniron, and it's probably going to keep changing its name, but I thought it was really fun. This book goes back and forth, and it tells you like 56 days ago, 45 days ago, and then it's like today how the detectives are there, so it's really interesting. It does keep your attention as long as you're awake to read it, so I'm really excited. I hope to finish this maybe tonight after I work on YouTube for a little bit, and uh, 
oh yes yeah, so i'm wearing pajamas again yeah i figured as long as i was i took a shower i might as well put some pajamas on because i got like four new pairs uh, in case I started to do my vlogs again and I really needed new pajamas like I need a hole in the head because I have so many from last year but these were just such great prices when I got them on QVC this one is Carol Hawkman and it is a soft soft cozy velour so it's like this nice soft gray you got a nice little cowl neck so of course I just put a little bit of jewelry on just you know to be special and the pants on these I don't know if I can get my leg up that high but they're like an animal print with pinks and grays and creams oh yeah and of course i got my mucklucks on yeah so i am nice soft cozy comfortable and warm love these and these ones are carol hawkman the ones i love the most from qvc for the winter ones are the mucklucks oh my god the velour on those is so so thick so comfortable love it but anyway we're here to get to the next book of the month club so i don't remember which month i got this one in but um and of course now i'm deciding i want to try to get into like fantasy and things like this but this one because i do like thrillers and mysteries so this one is everything we didn't say and they all come the book of the month club always comes with a little paper bookmark the book of the month and then what happened yeah so just kind of fun Alrighty, so this one just really sounds good too so it's uh was pushed out of her hometown after high school a woman returns to solve the riddle of her family and a horrific crime juniper baker has just graduated from high school and was deep in the throes of a summer romance when cal and beth Mur murphy a childless couple who lived on a neighboring farm are brutally murdered when her younger brother became the prime suspect june's world collapsed and everything that she loved that summer fell away she left promising never to return to tiny jericho iowa until now officially she's back in town to help an ill friend manage the local library but really she's returned to repair her relationship with her teenage daughter who's been raised by juniper's mother and stepfather since birth and to solve the infamous murphy murders once and for all she knows the key to both lies in the darkest secret of that long ago summer night one that's haunted her for nearly 15 years as history begins to repeat itself and a dogged little true crime podcaster starts delving into the murders the race to the truth puts past and present on a dangerous collision course juniper lands back in an all too familiar place with the answers to everything finally in her sights but this time it's her daughter's life that hangs in the balance or will the truth destroy everything juniper loves for a second time bart which is the author here once again brilliantly weaves mystery into a family drama in this expertly crafted novel for fans of lisa jewel and maganda Megan Miranda. So anyway, I just kind of thought that sounded kind of good how, um, you know, it goes back in time, 15 years, and then coming to the present and solving a crime. So you got that thriller aspect, you got a little bit of family drama, just thought it sounded really, really good. So looking forward to reading. Uh, yeah, I got books and books to have to read yet, but I'm looking forward to getting into to reading again. And uh, this past week, maybe week and a half, I've been trying to do a little bit every night. Sometimes it might not be till 12 or 12.30 at night when I start to read a little bit. But it's just helping me kind of unwind at the end of the day. And um, just something I'm really enjoying getting into reading this. And I can't wait to finish this 56 Days book and get started on my next one. So I am so happy you guys stopped in and joined me for tonight. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow we'll have a little bit of wine. Maybe a piece of chocolate maybe uh maybe a cupcake yeah i got some cupcakes yeah i was bad i bought many cupcakes i don't know if they'll still be around tomorrow but i'll try to save at least one so yeah so thanks everyone for joining me you guys mean the world to me and i enjoy reading your comments so much and getting to know each and every one of you it's just really it's a it's a wonderful journey here on youtube and i am enjoying 
the ride with you guys. So anyway, I hope you give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments, and we will chat again in the next video, and we will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.